hello everyone how are you how have you been doing now there's this story that has been trending online and has been making rounds on social media and it's about the president of the republic of kenya his excellency dr william ruto who is currently in israel jerusalem uh where he's uh, going on with bilateral talks between the Isla Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu while at the same time making a tour of the country. So according to President Ruto, he said that uh, tree pl planting in Kenya fails because of lack of prayers. You guys. So to understand this con context, in Jerusalem forest, they normally plant trees and Israel being a desert country they have really succeeded in agriculture dairy farming among many other ventures they have succeeded uh, even in tree planting and regaining of the ecosystem but here's the shocker Israel normally prays before they plant the seeds of the trees yeah so before they lay the seeds in the ground they normally pray and this has led to a very great success in times in terms of uh, the growth of the forests in Jerusalem forest. So this is where the president is coming from. His mindset is borrowed from that uh, experience when he, uh, right now he's in Jerusalem. He has seen how these people do their thing, how they pray before they. Uh, plant the trees and now he says in Kenya we don't do that in Kenya we just believe in planting the trees and he said that we have had mixed results and not very good results in terms of the growth of forest the forest cover in Kenya I don't think if it's uh, it has attained the 10 percent recommended the constitution because the constitution of Kenya 2010 provides that at least 10 percent of Kenya should be the forest cover of this country we all know the importance of forests from uh, fresh air, water catchment areas, and so on and so forth. So the president has received a backlash from netizens, thinking that he might be over-spiritual, over-religious in spiritualizing matters to do with agriculture, for example. And um, people think that it is really not the reason why the trees are not growing. In Kenya, we have so many challenges in terms of forests. Uh, there is illegal logging, there is charcoal burning, uh, this human settlement encroachment. Remember the Mao forest where you have people encroaching into forests, you know? So, um, in your opinion, is it an issue of the discipline of Kenyans? Is it an issue of prayers? Do you think if we start praying before uh, planting trees, we're going to make uh, to, to be as successful as Israel, as Jerusalem forest? Or do you think it's, it boils down to the discipline of Kenyans in terms of wanting to make money from everything, in terms of maybe bribery to get uh, the, the logging uh, to go on? Because remember, there is a whole body, the Kenya Forest Service. It has been in existence for a very long time. And um, still, um, the president alludes that we have not yet attained the forest cover that we need as a country. So uh, my question to you is, what do you think the government of Kenya can do so that um, we can have the sufficient forest cover that is required or we can reach the levels of Israel? Israel is a, a big, big country in terms of its growth and development. Geographically, it's a small country. But strategically speaking, in the global arena, Israel is a big player. The president also talked about issues to do with, um, they are going to collaborate on issues to do with um, security, for example. Remember, there was a time there were clashes, Israel, I think, in Palestine. And, you know, Israel even has technology such as something like I had Iron Dome or something that prevent, uh, prevents missiles and all that. So Israel is such a big, big country. And therefore, um, when you see the president borrowing some things from that country, it's because of the results, you guys. You know, nobody can argue with your results. Once people see that you're making it, they are... Um, 
inspired to follow you and to follow whatever you have to put on the table because already you have uh, seen the result so what do you think kenyans should we pray for trees should we pray before we plant for it should we pray for agriculture in this country should we pray for dairy farming should we pray for planting tea coffee other cash crops and uh, other domestic uh, not cash crops but other even horticultural horticultural products you know um is prayers the solution to this country recently we had the um, prayers for the rains and the rains are actually here you guys we're experiencing heavy heavy rains in the republic of kenya this flooding parts of the nyanza there there's flooding there is heavy rains around the country nairobi kiambu moranga everywhere it's raining uh do you guys think that this is because there was um the prayers at nyanza stadium uh, led by the first lady of the republic of kenya or are the prayers just part i mean are the rains just part of the normal uh climatic conditions in this country what's your take um our prayers the solution can we pray for corruption to end in this country can we pray for good governance uh can we pray for the justice system to be just can we pray for unemployment can we pray for taxes to go down you yeah. know what guys do you think our prayers the solution to all the problems we face in this country can we pray over the education system uh can we pray for what else uh, be devils this country any other problem can we pray for cults you know to end and we just left the right religious leaders and religious organizations what's your take what do you believe uh, is the one stop uh, solution for this country or there is no one size fit for all can we get one solution for everything type down at the comment section um yeah so there you have it israeli spray before setting trees uh, in their grounds and ruto says that he has discovered that planting of forest and trees is actually a spiritual uh, it is spiritual and biblical yeah planting of trees forests uh, regaining the ecosystem it's actually spiritual and biblical do you believe that is the president and the first lady of a spiritualizing matters or affairs in the country or is it just um how things should be is there a place for divine intervention in everything in the country in the economy in the industries comment down below thank you so much for watching this is elijah gishoro i'll be back with more